All right, so today what we're going to end up doing is we're going to set up a Docker container called Open LLM on Unraid. And this is just a um, <coughs> large language model Docker container. It's running Llama 2 7B, so you have 7 billion um, parameters. And down here we have like the temperature, so if we want our writing to be more creative, more neutral, or more precise, we can adjust the weights for different um, levels of activity that we want. So like if I'm writing a story, I might want to be more creative. If I want to be more accurate, I'll probably go down here to be more precise. And then down here is just your prompt. And I put like, you know, what is Unraid? And hit enter. And then what this will do, <clears throat> it will tell me about Unraid and answer my question. So if this sounds good to you, Let's get started. All right, so to get started, we're in our Unraid box, and all we gotta do is come over here to our apps, and then we'll just hit LLM and search for a long language model. And we have these different ones like up here. The one I'm going to install today is this open chat one. This one's for your CPU. So if you only have a CPU, um, use this one. If you have a NVIDIA video card, you can use the OpenChat um, CUDA. This is the one I'm going to use today. And we're just going to hit install. And this is actually pretty straightforward. Everything's pretty straight. Down here, the model download URL. Um, right here, we can change our model. We can go to Hugging Face and put a different model in here. Uh, this is a little bit older because it's using the .bin format. But... <clears throat> Um, this is still like usable. You just have to make sure uh, whatever model you use is a dot bin. And we'll go down here to the number of um, GPU layers. Um, defaults 12. You can increase that or decrease that depending on your video card. I have an old NVIDIA 1060 in this one and I know it was port 24. So I'm going to put 24 there. And then it's always a good idea to look at your Docker allocations and just to make sure that we don't have any conflicting ports. And in my situation, I do not. Um, but if it did, does, you can um, change your port. Go down here and we'll just hit apply. And this and starts the install method. And all we got to do is just wait for the image to download and um, install and we'll be ready to go. All right, so it looks like we're done now. So we'll just go down here and hit done. And then we can go back over to our Docker. And if we scroll down, we should see it somewhere right there. The open chat CUDA. And I'll go down here, look at the logs. And it looks like it's still downloading the model because we didn't have a model previously installed, so it is downloading that. So once this is done, we'll go ahead and take a look at the um, product. All right, so it looks like we're done now. Um, everything is complete, so I can go ahead and close the log. And once you see that it's running, um, you know that this is complete. So we'll just hit the X. And then I'll click on the Docker container and go to my web UI. And there it is. And it still had my old um, search in there. Um, so I guess I didn't delete that folder all the way. But anyway, this is back up and installed. And we can set there and delete that out if we want. Um, right here, this is a model. It has a drop down. So if we added more models, we could actually put it in here. Um, we can again we can still change this out so if I want to go create creativity and then say like you know write a one paragraph story about aliens um, I can sit there and have it <clears throat> write me a one story about aliens so again it's you know pretty straightforward we can continue um, you know down this road now, if we actually wanted to add more models to this, all we got to do is go to your back here to your share drive and then on your app data. And if I go down here to models and click on models, 
that's that um, llama model that we're using and all we would have to do is just upload a new uh, model you can go to hugging face and you can download um, the models there if you want um, again you just have to make sure that it's in the um, bin format so I'm going to jump back over here to the open um, <coughs> LLM and um, we have that story about our aliens completely done so have fun uh, play with it and I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll probably end up building my own if I can use the newer models um, on it and obviously we're gonna be limited to our graphic card that we have in our system but you know I'll probably build one of these from scratch um, well not quietly from scratch I'm gonna use the model but just build the interface and everything with it from scratch I'm in the future so stick around and um, we'll end up doing that and then we'll kind of go from there so if you have a better model for unraid or you have like a different container you think people should use um, leave it in the comments below and we'll take a look at it all right thanks for joining us today